Well folks, I have some information for you that I've just gleaned regarding a new Himalayan. I suppose this is not really in the keeping of the Himalayan Yak series, but well, I suppose it fits here better than anywhere else. It's very much a concept I believe at the moment and take it with a pinch of salt but this is more than just clickbait that somebody's fashioned on the internet and put a 650 twin engine digitally into a Himalayan frame. I say take it with a pinch of salt because it's like hmm, at least two years down the road. I won't reveal my sources but let's say it's 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 more reliable than clickbait, <laughs> as it were. Somebody's fantasies. It's probably a couple of years down the road. In some ways I can see their point, in other ways I can't, and I know for some reason they have to, and that is the following. It's only a concept at the moment, as you can believe. It's going to be something like a 470cc single, with about 30 brake horsepower, 35 brake horsepower again take all these figures with a pinch of salt it will be a water-cooled engine now here's the killer for me at the moment it's going to be your more modern looking street adventure bike like say um, I suppose something like a Multistrada not like a Tiger or a GS which still has that look of um, capability more modern road adventure bike style say adventure sport you might say touring sport sport touring that's a killer for me i don't want that the beauty i don't want to be unkind but the beauty in the ugliness of a himalayan it's not really ugly but it's old school it looks like a dt 500 um or um you know an early dr 400 that sort of style bike but with a few little niceties that make it a little bit more practical you might say but that is what I've heard I've been told I don't know um, how accurate it's going to be because it's a long way off and the idea is the 411 Himalayan as we all know and let's be honest most of us love will be no more of course the real reason for that the main reason for that is emissions people you know folks having to go at least oil air cooled and they have done for years to get the emissions down and water cooling does make a more efficient engine a, a slightly cooler running engine and all that and less emissions and blah 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 so it'll be euro five at least euro five we'd have to have something in it because by the time they get to euro five with that one euro six will be around i can see a people absolutely loving the bike if it comes out something like what they said but keeps the same rugged looks not the same old same old as everybody else does that really does great really i know us humans generally don't like change you know somewhat i don't think i've ever been up here very interesting Mr Bond anyway I'm looking for a cup of tea but it's a bit late in the day so yeah so um, potentially take all your salt you want to pinch more modern styling slightly bigger engine water cooled at least Euro 5 and possibly the capacity to go even higher it'd have to be to make it economically viable I suppose so more modern styling, slightly larger capacity, quite a decent increase in the power, probably about a third. Well, that has to be useful. I mean it's pretty decent it is now for what it's got, but you do have to think about overtaking. Again, as I said before, that goes for all but the twins, the Royal Enfield twins. But no idea where I'm going now, but let's investigate. Anyway, it could be a lot of pie in the sky. Considering my source, there's going to be a modicum of truth in it, at the very, very least. And it probably is all true, but of course it's such a concept at the moment, there is nothing cast in stone.